Not when you hold me Your beauty weighs on me This feeling is too good Lovely Jenny, there's a something I've been meaning I've, I've been wanting to say These are the times for Honesty, honesty, and for expressing ourselves. No, no, no. These are uncertain times, Jen. How long have we known each other, Jen? Fifteen years. Yeah. Can you believe that? And in all that time, I've come to see you as as not just a, Jamie. You know, a, Jamie. Hi. Hi! <laughs> Hi, Jen! Hey, you! Were you saying something? When? Just then. Me? No. Um, it sounded like you were mumbling something. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Enunciate, <laughs> Jamie! Uh, uh, nothing important. They speak clearly. What? Hmm? What? Uh, can you... Uh, oh. What? Uh, there's a bit of... Hello? <laughs> a bit of a delay on the old line. Um, Look, Jamie, can... Can you hear? Yeah, 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 yeah. There's a delay on the line. Um, <sighs> it might be my router. I, I'm always oh. putting stuff in front of it. Um, it just, um, oh, it's the right pain in the... <laughs> Did you see that? I see what? The... Uh, the little short, the little shorts. Yes, they're very nice, Jamie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fine. <sighs> it's just really warm in here, you know. Um, it's just working from home. It didn't seem any point in doing more than the top half. Well, live and learn. Right. So, what did you want to talk to me about? Right, right. Um, yeah, let me just... Oh, that's nice. Very soothing. Oh, thanks. Um, I, uh, I, I, I wrote it. You wrote it? It's lovely. I didn't even know you played the piano. Yeah. I, I, I recorded it last week, actually. Oh. Um, it, it's called The Time Is Now. Oh, that's ominous. Oh. <clears throat> Time has whispered new beginnings And oh, my heart is light as snow All alone I feel you with me You're singing. The lyrics to the song. No, no, um, <laughs> um, I, I've had a lot of time uh, to think while we've all been in self-isolation. And look, Jen, I, I'm finding it really difficult without without you. And uh, well, yeah, I mean, I know working remotely is not easy, but look. Keep the song on by all means, okay? So I assume you want to talk about the Green Cities project. Oh, no, actually, Jen. I do look, um, you, I know everyone's finding everything really uncertain right now, what with the whole lockdown and the situation with the pandemic. And obviously, all the suppliers are on edge, and we just have to do what's right for everyone. So. Yeah, but no, no, Jen, hold on before we get on to work. So I've got Marcus in. You got Marcus in? Just to give us an official line that we can share with everyone. Marcus! There he is! Hi, Jamie, how are you? Hi, I'm just... Uh... That's uh, an interesting tune you've got playing there. Yeah, sorry, I'll just uh, get rid of that. Um... Yeah, so how's uh, Glorious Isolation treating you? You've got the, the dogs for company, right? Oh, I haven't got any dogs. No? Oh, must be someone else. Um, and uh, 
Jen, uh, how are things? <laughs> um, sorry, what's funny? <laughs> oh, 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 Jen, keep it down. I'm on a call. Oh, wait, you two aren't. You're not quarantined in the same house, are you? Uh, I think he's rumbled us yet. Yeah, you know, technically, we are. Oh, <laughs> I mean, I mean, I knew you were sort of seeing each other, yeah. But um, casual, no. Well, everyone could do a bit of company during lockdown. I mean, you get that, don't you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course, oh, definitely, definitely. So, um, Jen's yeah, staying around my place till this all blows over. But we're we're keeping a professional distance during working hours, aren't we, Jen? Hmm? I, I, I said we're keeping a professional distance during working hours, aren't we, love? Yes, that's right. Yeah, she's upstairs. I'm in the kitchen. We've got a routine going. She hammers on the floor. I make a coffee. Um, I'm quite enjoying the lockdown. Uh, Marcus, don't you think that Jamie is looking rather smart? Yeah, as always. Yeah, well done, Jamie. Well, think again, because he's wearing funny little shorts. <laughs> oh, right. Smart on top, party under the desk, like a news reader. Show him, Jamie. Yeah, go on, Jim Jam. Come on. Really? Oh, go on, Jamie. Please I, I, show him. Please. Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah. Well, 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 why not? Yeah, good man. Good man. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's just really warm in here. Right, you now, know? Jen, uh, Jamie, Jen says that you're having some issues with the suppliers. Actually, Marcus... Oh, um, he needs a line that we can show on how we're handling the lockdown. No, 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 Jen, Jen. Uh, Look, I think... I'm glad you asked, Jamie. I mean, in short, what we need from the suppliers during this um, unpredictable period is this. You're going to want to get this down. Oh, actually, Marcus, I'm really Pen sorry. Pen and paper but... at the ready? Uh, Look, uh, Jen, you've got... Pen and, and paper thing. at the ready, Jamie. Look, guys, guys, can I just... So we need them to put together um, contingency plans to cover both a three-month timescale and a six-month timescale, okay. telling us how they're going to adapt, because none of us know how long this thing is going to last. We get that. We're happy. Simple as. You make sure that they know there's no pressure coming from our side. Hmm? Marcus, Got please. that down, me. I, Jamie, um... have you got that down? Come on. Don't patronise him, Marcus. Okay, okay. What did I say, Jamie? Marcus. Contingency plans. Three to six months. Three and six months. Yeah, oh, sorry. Three and six uh, months. Two separate plans to manage the risk. Got it? I got it now. How got many it. plans, Jamie? Two plans. That a boy. Sorry, Jamie. Uh, no, no, Jen, don't apologise for me. We're at work. No, we're at home. No, no, no. What did we agree, hmm? What did we agree, Jen? Oh, he's gone. Jamie, you kicked him off the call. Uh, yeah, but, uh, sorry. Um, I, I just, it was an accident. Um, I must have... Oh, the good. Huh? He was going off on one, wasn't he? He's been really difficult being cooped up like this. Take... My advice, Jamie, don't move in with someone for the first time just because there's a lockdown. <laughs> oh. So, it's not going that well then? <sighs> well, I don't know. I mean, we've rushed it a bit, haven't we? And you know how it's all work, work, work with him. Turns out he's the same in his free time too. I'm sure you would have been much easier company. Hmm. Sorry, silly. Well, Jen, while it is just the two of us, I wasn't actually calling to talk about work. Oh, you weren't? Look, I won't waste any more of your time, so uh, let me just... Uh... This is lovely. Why don't you want to play this to Marcus? <laughs> and? Oh. Look. Oh, what's 
that? <laughs> it's a can. It's a candle. Um, I'm creating an atmosphere. Ooh, scary. Ooh. <laughs> no, no, it's a, not scary. It's a soothing candle. Ooh, it's giving me the shivers. Have you got a ghost story then? <laughs> a soothing candle and some background music so we can chat, you know? I, I mean, I, I know we're all in self-isolation right now. So um, just imagine we've uh, popped out to a nice restaurant. With a creepy candle. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Ignore the candle. <laughs> oh, right. Well, this is more interesting than work anyway. Whatever you're up to. Sorry, I should have... um. I should have asked before I got Marcus involved. So what uh, did you want to chat about? Hmm? Jen. Jenny. Jen. Um, there's something I've been meaning, I've been wanting to say. Oh God. Oh, it's Marcus. Do you think he knows I cut him? Mm -mm. Sorry, look, I don't know what happened there. Bloody internet. Anyway, I'm on my phone now. Oh, hi, Marcus. Yeah, using all my data. Oh, there's, there's that song again. Anyway, where were we? I, I think you'd more or less finished. No, I think... No, you had. It was two plans, three and six months. Um, could you do me a coffee now, please, Marcus? No, hang on. You know what we agreed, Jen. Look, I've said I'll make you a coffee whenever you want, but using a live work conference call to ask Jamie, for things around you? the house, it just destroys any illusion there is of... Sorry, Marcus. <laughs> Sorry. He's just on a really short fuse at the moment. I think this working from home isn't really working. Coffee, please, love! Do I need to dial back in? No. No, I, um, I think Jamie will be fine now. Good riddance. He's not gone. Sorry, Jamie. It's just fine. Kidding. Tell him I was kidding. Coffee's on its way. Sorry, <laughs> Jamie, sorry. Um, I just thought you wanted some guidance. <laughs> no. No, that wasn't actually why I was calling. We really should have sorted this out beforehand. Yeah, no, no, it's totally my fault. Um, I mean, God, I'm, I'm calling you during working hours, after all. Yeah. So, <sighs> officially, we're at work, but... Um, Right, yeah. It's natural to assume, but the thing is, I, I suppose, I suppose you were imagining it was like we booked a meeting room at work for a meeting, whereas I was going for somewhere a bit more informal. Like the stationary cupboard. Exactly, like the stationary cupboard or um, chilling out by the water cooler, <laughs> or um, mm -hmm. um, at the photocopier area, getting a brew in the, the, the office kitchen, if you can picture that now. Um, mm -hmm. um, but, but, but by the entrance where all the smokers gather, except that you, know, I mean, you don't smoke, so that'd be it. No. <laughs> no. 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 Um, but, but you get the gist. We're at work, but we're not working. So we should be working. Yes, but even so. Even so. Um, what did you want to say? <laughs> um, Jen. Yes. <laughs> Jenny. 
Yes. Ooh, uh, you know what? Um, how about uh, you let me say the whole thing, all of it, uh, n no reactions and until the end. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. Um, Jen. Yes. No. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> There's something I've been meaning, I've been wanting to say. These are uncertain times, Jen, and not just the working from home, which I actually don't mind, um, uh, but, but um, the, 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 whole, the, the whole situation out there in the wider world. Um, it's got me thinking. You know, and there's something I have to say to you because th these are the times for honesty and for expressing our true selves. And oh, hang on, <laughs> the the, mu the music. Oh, one moment, one moment. Um, for for um for on honesty and expressing our true self um for connecting connecting with our our hearts and our minds uh, uh if if not with our bodies um, because you know we only get one go one go at all of this and uh, how long have we known each other jen hmm what, since school? I think it's, what, 15 years, I think. Yeah. Ooh, but, um, hang on, uh, sorry. That bit was rhetorical. I was, I was going to answer it in the next bit. <laughs> Look. Um, yeah. How long have we known each other, Jen? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Almost 15 years. Can you believe that? And in all that time, I, I've come to see you as not just a friend, but as a, no, not just as a colleague, but as a friend, as, as a really close friend. Okay, yeah, sure. Perhaps we don't spend as much time together outside of work as we used to. I mean, you've got a... You've got markers now. And I, I've got all sorts of hobbies. Huh? <laughs> but I feel like you understand me. Deeply. God, like no one else in the world, in fact. And... I think I understand you too. <laughs> Yeah, you're caring, compassionate, so down to earth. God, you don't take any nonsense. You've got this sharp sense of humour that makes me smile, even when I'm down. I've never, ever known anyone like you. And I am so lucky that we met. Jen. Yes. We all waste time, so much time, not saying what we feel or what we need to say to each other. And if there's anything I've learned from the way things are right now, it's that you have to express yourself whenever you get the chance. Even if that chance only comes via a conference call, you've got to. I've got to let my heart speak. So, here goes. Jen. I love, I really love- Coffee. Working with you. <laughs> I love working with you, Jen. Oh, that's really, that's really sweet, Jamie. What's he up to? Oh, that's a creepy looking candle. Jamie was just telling me how much he loves working with me. And you, Marcus. God, I love working with both of you. 
Lovely sentiment, mate. Thanks. But uh, we, yeah, we love working with you too. But how about we stop blowing smoke up each other and, I don't know, do some work. Jen, when you have a minute, I'd like a word. Jamie, I think um, I love working with you too. Thanks. Jamie? Um, yes? What was that song called you wrote again? The time is now. Could you sing the rest of it to me? Maybe next week, Jen. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I mean... I guess. You heard Marcus. Get back to work, huh? Yeah. Yeah, right. I guess I should be, um... <laughs> right, you are, Jen. Yeah. <laughs> um, speak soon, then. Bye, Jen. Okay. Bye. Lonely, but not when you hold me. Your beauty weighs on me. This feeling. I'm starting to think this might have been a bad idea. It's not like what you see on the telly. There's no jetting across the world to find your long-lost family, and Davina's not here to give you a cutch. It's just you. On your own. At the seaside. Because you thought a reunion on the beach would be postcard perfect. But you live in Swansea. So, actually, the sky's grey and the sand's soaking and it's freezing cold and blowing a gale and you'd actually rather be literally anywhere else. I'm really early as well. I did think about being five minutes late on purpose. You know, show her what it feels like to be abandoned. But that felt a bit petty in the end. And... What if she's actually got a really good reason why she decided to give me up and I wanted to be in my life forever? Going to look a bit of a tit then, am I? They've always got a really good reason on the telly. And then it's all, it's okay, ma'am. I understand. Well, to be honest, I'm not sure I do understand and I'm not sure it's okay either. I don't even know what I'm doing here. I've got a mom. I've even got a dad. Two practically perfect parents. The kind that pay for piano lessons and take you to Disneyland and run you down to Tesco and then measure out ingredients at 11 o'clock at night when you've just remembered that you've got to make a crumble in school tomorrow. <laughs> 
they are there whenever I need them. I've never wanted for anything. Except what sometimes feels like everything. Because it doesn't matter if everything is amazing. You're always wondering what it would have been like if she'd kept you. It's like living two different lives at the same time. There's the one you actually lead, and then there's the one you could have had. Every time you ask your mom a question and she answers, you wonder what your other mom would have said, whether it would have mattered. What kind of person you'd be if you'd had her telling you what to do your whole life instead? Would that be the real me? A better me? But I'll never know, and she'll never know, because she didn't stick around to find out. <sighs> what am I doing? I need to get out of here. I need to go home. Hi. Maximum stay, three hours. That's what the sign says. Maximum stay, three hours and no return within four. Even car parks have limits. I would thought looking out at sea would have a calming effect. They say it's one of the many health benefits of living by an aquatic environment. Blue space. That's what they call it. But the weather's grey. I only know the sea's there by the intermittent foghorn of the Isle of Wight ferry. There's 14 pay and display tickets on the dashboard, 15 if you include the one that's wedged in the grid of the car heater which flaps when you turn it on. 15 tickets, which amount to a total of 23 hours of parking. 23 hours spent trying to figure out what to say. 23 hours spent trying to figure out how to say it. And 23 hours spent knowing that I won't do either. I lost my virginity in this car park in a red fiesta. And though neither a religious festival nor celebration, it was indeed memorable. He was a tall man with a fabulous neck. The summer was ours, and though brief our affair, I loved him. It's been 30 years since he and I paid and displayed in this car park. Time's done little to diffuse his looks. I sometimes see him about town, high up on scaffolding or on the roof of a house. He's a builder. You see, he builds roofs. I could be driving along or stopped at traffic lights and I look up and there he is, standing on a roof, wearing a yellow visi vest, erecting. He saw me once, he told me so. Said he'd saw me drive past. Said I still looked beautiful. We smiled. I often wonder if this is where we go wrong in life. That maybe we're supposed to stay with our first loves, maybe that's it. 
Maybe that's all it ever needed to be. Maybe everything after that point just ekes away at you until finally you settle for something so incredibly less. Perhaps that's why he's up there. He's on that roof because he feels this way too. He's giving me a signal, like a beacon. He's lighting the way with his yellow visi vest. He wants me to look up, to look up and to rise up, to ascend the scaffold, to clamber the roof. And just when I think I'm gonna look down, he'll reach out his hand and pull me up and out of this. Ah, oh. limits. If a car park can do it, then so can I. I just need to say, I need to put it into words. I need to get the words out. Be clear, no more fights, no more sorry, no backing down, no bending. That's it, this is it. Like the neon of a busy vest, there will be no mistaking me this time. I will do it, and when I do, I'll be free to stand on that roof next to the man from 30 years ago. I'll wear his hard hat and feel both safe and vulnerable. He'll hold my face like they do in films and he'll kiss me. The timber joists will frame us, the moment captured forever. I'd have stayed on that roof for longer had a traffic warden not tapped the window. She made a note of my number plate, then pointed to an imaginary watch on her very thin wrist. I'd one minute left of the sixty paid for. Right. I'll go home. Get these words out, make my point, be clear. Or perhaps I'll pay for one more hour. See if this aquatic environment can't bring about some good. Get me some blue space therapy. It's not bad at one pound an hour.